came and they had all of their great uh, ceremonies and commemorations. And a week later, uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury and 600 Anglican clergymen came to, with him to Lourdes to celebrate the visitation of Our Lady. And um, from his own words of the Archbishop, he says, if I can read this. <laughs> Uh, on the 150th anniversary of apparitions of Our Lady and that on this occasion a Roman Catholic Cardinal and the Archbishop of Canterbury head of the Anglican Communion together with seven other Anglican bishops would worship together for those who are aware of the disputes and the problems of that of our past about Mary between Catholics and Christians from non-Catholic churches for those who know of the reserves in the non-Catholic world towards Marian pilgrimages and these sites such as Lourdes, for all these people, this unprecedented event today is a miracle. And so, although we know about all the, the many healings that have come about through Lourdes and the healing miraculous waters, really today the miracle continues because our mother is bringing together her children of the Christian faith and trying to help unite her children in the church once again. And Fatima perhaps is one of the most um, popular and most uh, de devoted. There's a, uh, in fact I have some materials over here about the different promises and the different things that have happened with um, uh, the three seers. Um, they're Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco. Jacinto and Francisco um, are the youngest canonized saints of the church. They were just recently um, canonized in the last